these are the Sony WH-1000XM5s. That is a mouthful. Let's just stick with Sony XM5 for now. These are some headphones I've had for some time now in the package, did not touch them. But once I opened the package and started using it, I realized how remarkable these are. I've been using the Beats Studio 3 for some time now and I've been pretty happy with them, especially when I'm using it at the gym or I'm just going to the supermarket. But I've also used the Apple AirPods Pro 2, the second version, and I must say I love those as well, but I always have a thing for headphones that are always over the ears. And for me, especially when I'm doing any kind of work on my computer, or I'm just sitting relaxing on the couch, or I'm even cooking in the kitchen. You know, I always like something that is over the ears because the one thing I always notice, especially when it comes down to the AirPods, is the fact that they always tend to fall out when they do get kind of sweaty. And I think over the head, over the ear headphones are definitely something that is so much better when it comes on to just staying in place. Really and truly love these. Love the feel of it, love the look of it. So let's go to the build quality. Um, this is not a groundbreaking uh, in terms of design, but the one thing I really appreciate about these is the fact how light they are. And not to mention color is, when I looked at the black, it was for me a finger magnet and I didn't want to be having my finger, fingerprints all over showing on the headphones. So I went with this color and as you can see, you won't be able to see any form of fingerprints on this. Now, I love how easy it is for it to be adjusted to go over your head and not to mention the fact you can actually stretch it all the way out and there are no form of sound, no creaking or anything like that. So if you're someone who, not necessarily like me, but you know, someone with a bigger brain, <laughs> you know, this would definitely fit perfectly and you won't have any form of issues. I love that it comes with very simple controls not to mention, you don't have to remove your headphones, whether it is to check the battery percentage, because on my Beats headphones, I usually have to take it off and check, press the button for me to see how much power is left in the headphones. And speaking of power, these go for about 30 hours. That for me is something that is fantastic and I can't say enough. I hate having to always go in and charge my headphones over and over so I can keep it going. No, with these, I don't think I have to definitely worry about that. Um, like I mentioned before about simple controls, it has an on and off switch, the Bluetooth button, noise cancellation and ambient mode. Once you put it on, it is literally right by your fingertips right here and you can tap between each of them. But not only that, if you need to be turning up the volume, it's an easy finger gesture for going up, for volume up, going down, for volume down, and going right to skip ahead, going back to, go, to skip back. So much easier than what I was accustomed to before. Even on the AirPods, you had the option to turn the volumes up. Very finicky, always missing the beat. Don't like that. With this, it is so easy to maneuver in terms of doing all the finger functions and gestures rather. So easy, I haven't had any issues at all. Um, when it comes on to this part right here, the over the head piece, I realize how thin it is and I made sure to wear it for at least majority of the part of the day and I never felt any form of pressure in the middle part of my head here or even when, I had, when it's over my ears, I didn't feel any kind of pressure. With the Beats Studio 3, I always sometimes felt like I was in like a vacuum kind of vibe. Even though the noise cancellation is very, very good, I realized how these sound really, really good, especially when I'm on a call. 
The audio is so clear. Let me just give you some examples right now. This is what the audio sound like from the Beat Studio 3. This is what the audio sound like from the Sony XM5. As you can see from those two examples with the Beat Studio 3 and the Sony XM5, the clear window is the XM5. The audio sounds so much crisper and clearer. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you think. But going back to the some attachment, it uses the 35 millimeter jack right here and also uses the um, USB-C for connecting um, for your charging. But the one thing I really love about this too is the functionality when it comes on to using the app. The moment I paired it with the phone, I installed the Sony app, it immediately checked for the firmware update and started downloading it, which I think is just a really, really good feature. Because one of the things I really had a gripe with, especially when it came on to the AirPods, is how difficult it is for you to do even a firmware update for the AirPods. I never, I've never really done an update for the uh, the Beats. I never, I didn't know, I don't know whether or not there is. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. But that's one feature I really enjoy about this so far is it updated the the, 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 the software on the headphones right away as soon as I connect to it. It did take some time to do the update. Really don't care. But I love the fact that they put that feature in there where it automatically updates your, 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 your firmware, software, whatever it is that they, they call it on these headphones. Um, this is really my first Sony headphones and I'm very, very, very much impressed. More so about the weight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything and I wore this for a few hours and it just felt so light on my, on, on my head. Never felt any form of discomfort. The one thing I do enjoy though is the fact that you can charge this for three minutes and you get a three hour runtime, which I think is fantastic. That's what they call fast charging. And the next thing too is how easy it is to uh, operate the app when it comes on to setting different modes, especially when it comes on to like your bass, treble and so forth. I love the fact that you can actually customize, you have two custom options for setting your the, the sound level that you enjoy with this. Um, if I look at my phone right now, is once you go into the section for sound, you're going to scroll down to you see a section called equalizer. Right now, I have mine on custom two. So the thing I like about this too is one of my favorite um, uh, function, uh, custom function that they have on here. It's called, um, let me see, uh, what's it called? It's called Excited. The bass and treble and mid tones sound so good. I was listening to some 50 Cent today and I'll tell you, the sound and the, the bass in the music sounded so good, so crisp here, and I just can't get enough of how good it sounds. My beats definitely did sound good, but not as clear and as uh, bassy as this sound. And you know, the fact that you have a custom function for you to set your own bass, your own treble and mid tones, that to me is just a game changer. And I, I, I think they went above and beyond when they put that feature into the app. And also th there's a feature on the, the, the AirPods that you, once you start talking, the volume actually goes down. This actually has a feature like that and it's called speak to chat. Once you enable that, you can definitely, once you start talking, the, the audio cuts automatically. And what the one thing I love about this too, is the fact that you have a, a, a section there that says time until the mode closes. When you click on that, you have several different uh, modes here. The one that I chose is the short, which is approximately five seconds. So it takes five seconds for you to go back to start hearing your music 
on the headphones. You have a 15 seconds and you also have a 30 seconds. And you, you also do have an option that says um, do not close automatically. So I love that, you know, and they kind of went above and beyond in terms of the feature for the headphones. And I really and truly love that. You know, um, one of the other features that I really do like too is it actually allows you to take pictures of your ears and it customize, I guess, the sound or, or rather than the, 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 the um, what it does is analyzes your ears and give you the best, I guess, fit in terms of sound around your ears. I, tell me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below, but I love that feature. As simple as it is, I love the attention to detail when it comes on to that, guys. And one more thing that I do enjoy too, you have a thing called uh, spatial sound optimization. That's another thing that you can actually check out. Guys, if you do get this, definitely get the app and use these features. You will not at all regret it. And one of the other things that I really like, um, I think you can also connect to two devices simultaneously. I haven't used that yet. I'm definitely going to test it out, but I think that's a really good feature to be know, to know that you can actually switch from device to device. That the AirPods definitely does that because you're in the Apple ecosystem. Once I, I'm using my, my laptop, I can start watching a movie. If I switch to, let's say, my, my, my iPod, it automatically starts playing on there, which I think is a good feature. So I like the fact that they actually included this inside the the um the app for the xm5s guys i don't know you guys tell me what you think so far um if this is something that you definitely consider buying but the one thing i really um have a little bit of gripe with is the, the fact that you're not able to fold the headphones um to a smaller uh you know shape than this you can only rotate the the ear pieces this way and you can there's a slight little pivot on the headphones with my beats if you look inside the case right here you can see how much you can actually fold it down to but the drawback with that is after a while you hear that it's, you hear things starting to creak in and stuff and like i said it's so much simpler to just fold it down like that and when it comes on to traveling this is definitely a plus i mean the case that they do have is a flat kind of case right here. And yeah, it's nice, but it's not as solid as the Beats case. And to be honest with you, I'm really just nitpicking right now. Um, that's not something that I would say personally, that is a drawback that is going to say, going to say to me, you know what, I don't want to buy it because of that, no. The fact that the sound quality is really good, when I'm on a call and I'm, and I'm using the headphones to, to speak with someone, they hear me very clearly. And I've had a few persons who said that, boy, your, your, your audio is coming through so much clearer. And I have to agree. You know what I'm saying? So that is, a, that is a feature that I really and truly do enjoy. The minuses are very, very small, guys. And for me, I think anyone who, you know, is not a top tier professional, audio engineer, whatever. I think the normal average everyday Joe is gonna enjoy these, you know what I'm saying? And I've heard people talk about the, the um, I think it's the, 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 Air, the Air Max and how heavy it is. These, you're not gonna have that issue. I don't remember the weight of these, but I'll put it up on the, on the, I'll put it up on the, the screen over here. But these are like, so light they're so so light and so comfortable I, do, I like the fact that i don't feel any form of pressure over my ears that's one of the biggest pluses for me knowing that i can wear these for hours and hours when i'm working relaxing or doing any other chores whether in the house or i'm just walking outside so guys let me know what you think of this and if you're interested in buying uh, this headphone or even the Beats Studio 3, I would leave links in the description below. And you know, when you do get, make any purchases, guys, it really helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you guys anything at all. And even if you're not interested in getting these, if you do click on the link and you're purchasing something else, it will truly help the channel out. This is what I kind of use to kind of help to fund the channel. So guys, I would really and truly appreciate if you guys do that, guys. So like I mentioned before, guys, if you do en did enjoy this video, smash that like button, guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.